Okay, okay, wait. You teach combat to children. Oh, when you put it like that, it sounds weird. It is weird. Why would you do that? Well, to teach them courage, responsibility, respect, and to be a good sport. Plus, knowing self-defense ain't a bad thing, right? Well, I, I guess not. Wait, a good sport? You made sport out of the combat! What, what, what was that? Just removed watching MMA from our plan to introduce you to human culture. Human, one of your crew has been introducing herself by referring to herself as a Capricorn? Is that a species of human I should know about? Oh, no, 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 no. She was just introducing herself by her zodiac sign. See, back in ancient civilization... I'm going to stop you right there, human. This human is practicing something terribly outdated and likely a byproduct of ancient misunderstanding. People basically use the month they were born to determine their futures. Were those predictions accurate? Well, they're vague and subject to confirmation biases. Then why does she still use it? If I knew the answer, I'd tell you. And why give the month such a strange name? No, not the month so much as that. The periods were denoted by constellations. Patterns of stars we found in the sky that look like things, which we named. And this Capricorn creature is? A goat with a fish's rear end? What human hallucinated? Oh, rude. How dare you? Human, why did, why did you scold the object? I cannot understand you, you know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, no, I know, it's just, it's just a thing I do. A lot of humans do that. that. Should I ask why? Well, it's nothing bad. We just like to joke a little, and instead of berating ourselves, we jokingly berate the object. It makes it feel like it's less our fault, and we can have a bit of a laugh while we pick it up and put it back. Huh. That is an unusual tactic. Excuse you. <laughs> I think I understand you humans just a bit more. Human, what what is this device? Oh, it's a it's a gun we made that shoots giant metal beams at extremely high velocity by using magnets to spin it so fast it breaks things. Ah, huh. I didn't know your species developed countermeasures against the giant space worms. Giant what now? Human, could you enlighten me on a bothersome question? Yeah, what's up? How come you have yet to reach further parts of the solar system you have it within? Well, you see, we have yet to invent the technology to personally level such distances to save time and resources. Surely your kind is doing everything it can to reach these goals, yes? Some of us are. Some? Your species is close to depleting your celestial body of resources! Where have these resources gone to, if not for inventing Planet Traversal? It's for militaristic efforts, isn't it? Yeah. Human? Hello? What are you consuming? Macrofish. Cheese? Wait, isn't that made of this dairy? Yeah. I thought you could not process this! Oh, gosh, the towers be damned! I want a look at cheese! How have you survived this long? Uh, I, I'm sorry, human Zachary. I need to say it myself so it seems a bit more clear. Um, okay, I guess. So not only did the bomb explode. Yes. But the scientist was caught in the explosion. Yes. And he didn't die. Yes. Instead, he became this massive muscle-bound primitive only coming out when expressing emotion. Yeah. What? Human Mark, what is a parking lot? Is this some kind of arena? No. It's a place where we park our cars. Why, why would you think it's an arena? Because Human Todd just challenged me to fight in one and belonging to someone named a Denny. Ah, okay. Well, in that case, it is an arena. Good luck with that fight. Uh, what, what, what? All right, so let me get this straight. Go on, I'm ready to explain. Your kind has made wondrous types of food that has little to no need for additional flavors, correct? Yes. And yet many other humans decided it wasn't enough and created these condiments for anything food related. Also, yes. To the point where many of your kind essentially drown out the flavor of the original item with much more of these items. What's your point? You humans never seem to stop astounding me with how much abuse you put into your body. That being said, would you like some hot dog with your ketchup?